snow. Well, I know for a Yorkshireman, really, it's not that much, but I've lived here for over 30 odd years now, so any little bit counts as exciting snow. By the way, do you like the hat? Thought I'd be down with the kids with this. Although my son says that the only people I'm going to be down with are 16 year old female emos. Kids can be so cruel. By the way, it's the last day today to fill in the survey for the off-court consultation. So if you've got uh, strong things to say about uh, what you think about what they're doing, are we the exams this year, then please do fill it in and let them know in uncertain terms. The other thing is, as well for you in year 13, it is the last day. They did extend for a couple of weeks, but it's the last day now, I think, for getting in your UCAS application. So if you haven't done it yet, get going on it. Anyway, that early bloke isn't the only one who can do the walking, talking thing. In fact, I think he got the idea from me copying my uh, videos from last year anyway. Uh, one of the ironic things is looking around all this snow and then across the bay of the car park or a ship park as it were for about six um, cruisers out there. It reminds me that last year for a significant birthday I was uh, supposed to be going on a, on a cruise to Norway um, which obviously got cancelled and we ended up on a narrow boat in Wales instead which was still fun of course. But it's frustrating, isn't it, that sometimes things you've planned, things you've been looking forward to, don't happen. So I just really want to encourage you to keep planning. OK, it is a bit of a, a mix-up at the moment and a bit of a, a hiatus, as it were. But plan ahead. Realise your dreams. Think about those holidays that you want to do. Think about the university that you're applying to next year. Think about, I don't know, getting driving lessons, buying a car, trying to get a job to earn some money and so on in the summer months. Right? Still press ahead with those things. Well, that's easy for you to say, sir, because, uh, you know, you've got a job, you're earning money. You've done all those things already. And, you know, fair point. Do live in a lovely area, lovely place. Go for nice walks and things. And, you know, I'm still in a job, I'm still earning money. So, my frustration level is probably a lot less than a lot of people. I really feel for those people who uh, have businesses at the moment that can't actually operate them, you know. What are they thinking? How are they thinking? It's, it's just a, a really, really tough time. And I'm not you know, downplaying that at all. You know, as a dad, I can share some of the frustrations as well. Three boys, one did his degree last year, finished his degree, had to do it all online. I've got a second son this year, finishing his degree, probably again, ended up doing a lot of the stuff online. Got a year nine, um, homeschooling like a lot of you are as well. I know the frustrations you know, from a dad's point of view as well as a kind of teacher's point of view. And, you know, you know all that frustration of the bandwidth and the trying to get um, on the, the broadband at home and things like that. So, you know, I'm not trying to cry or put down lots of frustrations, but I just want you to, you know, keep smiling, keep positive and keep, keep planning. You know, an exams officer is only as good as his team. And I just want to say a big thanks to all our invigilators who are been a bit uh, messed about by all this as well. They've been mothballed at the moment and, and particularly the guy in charge of that, Mr. Morrison, Mozza, as we all know him, and especially thanks for this week because he's the one basically who's been doing all the back breaking work of getting all these um, statements of entry out to you, standing at the photocopier for hours on end and uh, scanning all the things in for you. So, a big thanks to Mozza. Now, please do check your uh, statements of entry really carefully. I made a mistake and I left out um, GCSE textiles. And thanks to one person out of 18 who discovered that and let me know about it. So 17 of you looking at your um, statements out there, um, not realising there's a mistake on there. So please do check them carefully. I will make mistakes. So make sure that you are entered for the exams you think you have been entered for. Now remember the key things to check are all the things in the top box there relating to your name, um, date of birth and so on. And then just down the left hand side the subjects will be outlined there. Ignore all the stuff on the right, that was when the exam was going to happen. Of course this stuff now is not going to happen but it has to come out on the statement of entry. But the key thing is to make sure that you have all the subjects that you think you're doing outlined on this list. Otherwise you won't be entered for them, you will not get a grade, you get no certificate. Okay.